welcome to another studio vlog as you've seen i've just been weighing all my packages so i packed some website orders up yesterday so it's currently wednesday the 3rd of may and yesterday i packed up some website orders and so i've got them all weighed today ready to take to the post office but it's going to be a very busy day today because if you watched my last studio vlog last week you'll know that this weekend on sunday the 7th of may i've got my first craft market of the year and it's in horncastle it's really local to me it's about half an hour away it's my first one of the year so i've got quite a lot of prep to do i did some last week and i started making some sticker sheet stock but i've had some website orders come in and I've ended up nearly using like all of the sticker, sticker sheet stock that I made so I need to get more sticker sheets made, that is a priority. I also want to get some wall art prints ready, um, basically just get as much stuff ready today as I can but I have got all day on Saturday um, to prep for it as well so I've not got anything on Saturday, I can just dedicate Saturday to staying at home getting stuff prepped for the market so I'm not stressing out too much yet but another thing I need to do today is I need to go to the range because I need some like big storage boxes you know the clear ones with the lids on I need to get a couple of those to put all my craft market stock in because last year I was using these like um yellow ones that were just at my mum and dad's they were fine um but it would be really good if I had like lids on them so I can stack them and things like that so I need to get some storage tubs so we're gonna go to the range a bit later on so yeah this vlog's gonna be a little bit different usually I'm just like packing orders pottering about doing bits in the studio but today we're gonna be prepping craft market stock and we need to go out and get some things in order to do that as well I also need to get all my craft market stuff out of the garage that I used last year and sort that out because I've not touched it since I did my last craft market which was in December Thing. so yeah we need to look through that and sort things out in that as well basically we just need to get organized ready for sunday because i'm a last minute larry and unfortunately i just don't think that's ever gonna change as much as i want to to be fair i'm not last minute with like everything but it's just like things like this where i have lots to do I just always think oh i can do that because because i've got saturday free i just think oh i'll just do it on saturday but if i leave it all till saturday I will be stressed as hell so yeah we need to get as much done today as we can. I also just wanted to update you as well on my website sales so if you watched last week's vlog you'll know that I was hoping to get to 30 website sales by the end of April. Um, most of my sales come through on Etsy and they have done for the past few years that I've been running this business which I'm super grateful for but I'm really trying to focus on, on getting more traffic to my website and more sales through there as well so last month in April we surpassed 30 sales so in the studio vlog I think I was on 27 sales and I said if we can get to 30 that would be amazing and so many of you you are so lovely placed an order saying that you'd hoped that I'd reach 30 sales and to update you so we actually got to 40 sales in April hopefully it's focusing on here nope let me just click on it there we go so we got to 40 sales and the 40th was placed by Ellie and the 30th was placed by Kamya. So the 30th and 40th orders, I refunded them 50% of the order as like a little thank you to getting to 30 and 40 sales. And I've also put some little freebies in the ones that were like just before they just missed it as well um, but yeah this is the Emily Harvey Art sales tracker which I've absolutely loved using um, so I'll leave her links down below if you want to download this um, but this month I've made my own just because I just think it's quite cute in the office up on my cork board it just matches everything so I've made my own for this month it probably won't show up very well because it is really light in colour but it says May sales tracker We'll just turn the brightness down actually that might help oh there we go that's a bit better so it's like my green and pink colors with my little character illustration at the bottom and we've gone to 50 sales just because i want to use this like throughout the year really so i just feel that like that's a generic number to go with but obviously i'm not expecting to get 50 sales at all um but yeah that's what i'm going to be using so so far in May we've had an order from Dawn and from Monique as well which I'm super grateful for so every time somebody places an order if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen I'm just turning the brightness back up again I think that was what it was on 
Anyway, we'll go with it. But every time somebody places an order, I tick off the order number that it is with my little highlighter, my little yellow one, and then I write their name on the spot as well so I know who placed that order. So yeah, if you follow me on Instagram and if you place an order, you'll see your name um, being written on the sales tracker. But yeah, I'm gonna keep these all in like a little folder so that I can look back on them and see how many orders I've got each month on my website and see if it does grow um, and things like that because I'm really hoping it does. I obviously am so grateful for every single Etsy order but I got an email the other day, if you're on Etsy as well you'd have got it, saying that they're putting their fees up again. It's only by a tiny amount but they keep doing it like every year or every so often and it's just going to keep going up, let's face it. So the more orders that I can get coming through on the website, the better because the fees are much lower. You've just got a transaction fee and just tiny little fees like that, um, depending on how the customer pays, whether it's by card or PayPal or things like that, but it's, it's nothing compared to the Etsy fees. So yeah, I am staying on Etsy for now um, and I think I will for quite a while because that is literally where my income comes from. But this past month on my website in April, it was really good. Um, so if we can keep that up, that would be just amazing. So yeah, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, this is going up on my cork board and I just fill it out every time someone places an order. So yeah, I just wanted to update you on that because I know some of you said that you wanted to you wanted me to keep you updated whether we hit the 30 sales goal we did plus 10 more which is just incredible so yeah i just wanted to say thank you so much for that right i've just heard my washing machine go off so i need to go and hang that outside it's such a lovely day today i'm really looking forward to like going out for a little bit um i know it's only to the range but to just get out of the house um, and take you along with me so we'll do that i'm gonna hang the washing out now and then my nan is coming to get her nails done because I have like an at home gel nail kit and I do her nails for her so she's coming for a little nail appointment. Um, I actually, I used to do mine but I go to someone now to get them done because I have like this builder gel on them and it makes them grow really long. Like my nails have never been this long and I'm going tomorrow to get them done because they're quite outgrown. I don't know if you can see but yeah. I'm really excited for that as well but yeah my nan's coming I think she said she's coming between 10 and half 10 and it's currently 9 58 so I need to get hang of this washing out ASAP Rocky <laughs> right I'll catch up with you in a bit now I've just been to the range I ended up buying three storage tubs two of the same size that are like a little bit more shallow and then one deeper one and I think that should fit everything in that I need it to but later on I'm gonna get some stock ready as much as I can I'm going to get all my stuff out of the garage and organize my stuff so like my card reader all things like that my tablecloth that's all in the garage so I can take those out the boxes in there put them in the new boxes and then make sure there's room as well for all the stock that I'm going to make as well. So I'm going to do some organising later as well as making the stocks so that everything's ready for the market on Sunday. Um, but I'm literally starving right now and Greg's is on the way home so it's calling my name. I'm going to have to go and get a baguette I think I'm in a baguette kind of mood. So I'm going to grab some lunch. I'll bring that back with me and then eat that and then get everything out of the garage that I need to. Yeah, I'm really excited to get stuff organised. I love a trip to the range as well, it's just so, so fun. It's like a day out, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. I've just had my lunch, as you saw. I'm out of breath because I've just been into the garage to get my craft market stuff out. 
and there's literally so much stuff in there for like from when we moved in we're still not we can play in a minute we've still not like sorted the garage out properly from since when we moved in um because we're leaving that to the summer like when Lewis is off on the summer holidays so we can do it together properly so yeah it's a bit of a maze in there at the minute so <laughs> I had to like get the boxes out and then bring them inside and yeah it's just warm me out a little bit to be honest so I'm just going to show you first the current state of my craft market crates so I've got two yellow boxes or crates or whatever you want to call them like this tight for space so I've got two of these so they're they're not actually as big as they look on camera because I'm like they're in front of me but yeah I've got two of those crates and the other one is here with this bag on the top because I keep some stuff in that little bag as well so in the bag I'll show you first so in the bag is where I kept like bags so packaging bags like these paper craft ones so these I have actually ordered some pink bags though for my markets this year so I will keep these for future events or things like that because um, I have stamped them but I'm not going to be using those for this market on Sunday so I'm going to be using some pink bags that I've ordered but they've not come here yet okay so in this bag I've also got my tablecloth that goes on my table it's just random stuff everywhere. I also have this little Ikea plant that I put on my stall. Um, it currently has some fairy lights in it as well. I don't know if you can see, I've just turned them on. You can a little bit. Because um, the last market I did was like a Christmas one, so I've put some fairy lights in the plant. But I'm going to take them out, and I feel like that's going to take longer than I anticipate. So I'll do that in a second. But yeah, that plant is staying, that's going to be hanging off my table still. And then, yeah, in here we've just got the paper bags. We've got some paper, like, envelopes or card envelopes with my logo sticker on. And these were what I would put orders in. So if someone ordered an A4 print, I'd have put it in there because at my markets last, last, last year, last year I didn't have any grey board behind my prints I just had them out because the card was thick enough for them to stand up anyway but when people ordered them I'd then put them in a boarded envelope like this just for extra protection but this year I am putting this grey board behind every print and it's really thick and sturdy so I won't need to put them then in an envelope like this they can just go straight in a bag um, so that'll be loads easier um, so I won't need to take those white envelopes with me either. So actually, I think I can just do away with this bag because it literally just has paper bags in and those envelopes. And my pink paper bags that I've ordered, I'm sure I can make room in my new boxes that I've bought, which I will show you now. Sorry I'm doing this in a really random order. Like I'm now going to show you everything I got from the range. So a little range haul. Otis is down here. Come on, say hello. I feel like I've not shown him on camera in absolutely ages. Come on, what's this? What's this? He's being camera shy, so I'll show you him in a minute when he decides to come up. Nope, he's still running away. Um, also, I've changed my top because the orange one I was wearing, every time I sat down, it like kept riding up um, and it was getting on my nerves, so I've had a little outfit change. But yeah, let's show you everything I got from the range. So. The new crates I've got, I wanted ones with lids on, so I got these really long um, clear ones and they do have lids on and they're quite shallow, they're not really deep because I found with the yellow ones that I was using last year, I didn't need them to be so deep, um, I just needed them to be like longer so these will literally be perfect. So I got two of those to put, I think I'm mostly going to put like my A3 and A4 prints in those and pin stock stickers everything like that so all my stock i think will go in those shallow boxes and then just in case they're too shallow and i need something with a bit more depth i've then got this one again that has a lid on it so this one's probably not quite as wide but it's um like double the depth so that can carry like everything else like the plant tablecloth my car machine things like that that i can just pile up in that box and yeah, fingers crossed everything will fit, but if worst comes to worst, I can always use one of these yellow ones as well as like a spare crate. I've got some other little bits that aren't actually like 
market related but I'm going to show you anyway because I love a good like B&M, Home Bargains, the Range Hall. So I'm just here for it. So I got Otis a new toy. This one doesn't have any stuffing in it because if he has a toy with stuffing in it he literally rips it open within mm -hmm. about 10 minutes. You can hear him growling. Yeah, I'll give you some attention in a minute buddy. Yeah, if he has a toy with stuffing in, he literally rips it open within like 10 minutes and there's stuffing absolutely everywhere. Dashens are like really destructive of toys and stuff. Thankfully, I'm actually really grateful he's never actually bitten or chewed any furniture or anything. He's only ever gone for his toys, mm -hmm. which is extremely lucky. Um, but I think it's just because we were like on that from the get-go. <laughs> Every time we went near the sofa, we were like... Um, but yeah, I think this will be the perfect toy for him. Actually. You can have that now. There you go. Have a party. Yeah, so got a toy for Otis. Then I got some blue tack because I always need blue tack at my markets, whether it's to like stick my price signs on the little easels that I've got. I don't actually know where they are either. They must be in these boxes. I'm gonna root through them in a second. Um but yeah, blue tack, super handy. I got some descaler because our kettle needs descaling, so yeah, that's really fun. Then I got some clear matte scotch tape or sellotape with a little dispenser on it as well because I use this a lot for making my stickers. If I use like a reflective overlay, then the Cricut sensor doesn't like that. Um, it like reflects too much, so you have to put matte tape over the top. And I ran out of that, so I stocked up. And I also got some double A batteries because my fairy lights on my shelves and Sheldon the snail have all died. So they need new batteries but yeah that is my the range haul I'm going to show you everything that's in the yellow crates in a second but before I do that I'm going to focus today on making a4 print stock for the markets so I want at least two of each design and I think I wrote a list the other day of all the prints that I want to take and there's 27 designs so that means that I've got to take 54 prints so I need to make 54 prints. I was going to take three of each design but I just think that's going to be too much stock to take um, and yeah I don't even have enough like grey board to do that either so it's just going to have to be two of each design for now so I'm going to send those all to print and hope and pray that my printer plays ball today and then as they're printing I'm going to show you everything that's in my craft market boxes and try and get that all organised into the new boxes. I'm so sorry that the print is going on in the background, I hope it's not too loud or annoying um, but all my prints are now printing and I'm actually really pleased because I've just gone through my A4 print stock um, that were in the yellow boxes because they were just in an A3 envelope on top of the boxes and most of the prints that I want to take I do actually have at least two of in stock so all I'm going to have to do is just take these out and then obviously put them with the grey board into a biodegradable cello sleeve. Otis is liking his new toy so that's a good sign. But yeah I've got loads of prints here um, so it's going to save me so much time because I've got most of the prints. There's just some of the new ones I need to print off, um, well all of the new ones, although I did do those the other day, I've got those here. So I've got the Girl With Goals print and all the new ones here, um, like She's Electric, things like that. They're all ready, Self Love Juice um, to be packaged up. So all in all, I'm not actually having to print that many A4 prints off, but A3 prints might be slightly different because, again, I want to take at least two of each and they take a while to print obviously because it's such a big sheet to print the colour onto so yeah we'll worry about that another day I might start printing those tomorrow but I'm just going to focus on getting A4 prints printed and packed today and that should be very doable now now that I've gone through my stock um, from last year and have realised that I have actually pretty much got near enough everything already but it's obviously just not packaged how I want it to be so I'm just going to show you everything else that I've got in these yellow crates kind of like as a little what I took to my 
kind of like as a little what I took to my craft market last year. So, so like I said earlier, I've not actually touched these boxes since my last craft market, which was, I think it was the 4th of December, that date is ringing a bell for some reason. So yeah, it's as much as a surprise for me as it is for you. So I have this little display, acrylic display thing. This is what I used to display my A5 size prints in, but I might use this for enamel pins that would work. I know I'm going to display my enamel pins on this cork board and put it on one of these little easels that I've got so this is just in that yellow crate as well. Um, I'm going to stick that on there and all my pins will be displayed on this cork board um, but I would like some out as well like packaged in glassy bags so that people can just take them ready. Um, so I could always put this like next to it with some in there. I don't know, I need to think on that one a bit more, but yeah, that's how I'm going to display my enamel pins. So I've got quite a few of these mini easels in here as well, because because I actually use those to display my price signs on, so I do need to update my price signs as well. I'm going to do them slightly differently. I want to like change the font and things as well on my price signs so yeah loads of these mini easels I think I just got these off Amazon I'll link them below then I've got my card reader in here so I use this sum up card reader and it's really good as well because it comes with these little um, signs that you can put up on your table to let people know that you do take cards and the sum up card reader just looks like this it's just a little square one but yeah, that needs a good old charge because that's just been sat in the garage since December, which probably wasn't the best place for it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Always has seemed to work at my markets. It's never really let me down. Um, then I just have like some old thank you cards that are all crumpled. That's one of my old designs. So I always take my thank you cards with me as well to give to people with their orders in their little bags. I then have this here which displays my greeting card so it's just like this little peach coloured one. And then I just have more of these little easels in that box. I also have a very gross grubby lint roller. I always take a lint roller with me to my markets because I use a white tablecloth and often sometimes things fly about in the air like even little like flies or bits of grip or anything can fly onto a table and I just every so often give it a quick go over with the lint roller and it gets everything off so I always take a lint roller with me I might need to get a new one though and then in here as well I keep all my A5 prints in these envelopes so they're all there but I'm not taking A5 size prints to my markets this year so they can just be stock for website and Etsy orders now, which will be really handy. And then I also have my, what I call grid prints. I've written on here, grid prints. And basically on my table, I have these like white grids that I put in the background on my table. I'll put the picture on screen so you know what I mean. And I pin like prints onto it. So these are the ones that I pinned onto my display board last year. So just a wide selection of prints but I'm going to switch those up as well because obviously I've got some new prints this year. Yeah that's everything in that first box so not actually that much stuff because most of it I'm not even taking to my craft market this year so well, we should be good so far but let's have a look and see what's in the other one. Okay so in this one on the top I have my sticker display board so my dad actually made this for me and it just props up and sits on my table like in the middle and I put 16 sticker designs on this board although this year for some day I might try and move them around slightly so I can fit more on because I've got quite a lot more sticker designs now. I'm going to try and shuffle them around so they're not necessarily like in rows and neat but just like on there to display all my stickers because I've got quite a few more designs. So yeah, that's how I display my stickers. So that is staying and coming with me because I love that. Then we have more A4 prints in there, but I've gone through those anyway. So they'll just be extras that can be website and Etsy stock now. Oh my gosh, I wondered where this had gone. If that's a bonus. Next we have this little pink crate and this has a6 prints in it. Again, I'm not taking A6 size prints to my craft markets this year, but there's loads here. So again, they can just be website and Etsy stock. But that's handy actually, because I could use this little crate actually to put my enamel pins in. That will be better, I think, than the 
acrylic one that I showed you a minute ago. So I'm going to put that in one of my new crates so that I don't forget to use that. Then I have my print rack, so I put all my A4 prints in here. I have some of my bookmarks in here, although I have new bookmark designs that I'm going to take to my craft markets this year, so I won't be taking those ones. And I'm going to be displaying them differently as well, not in this pen pot. Then I've got some parcel tape and paper clips, which are always handy. And the last thing in that box. Oh, I've just found one of my introverted extrovert club pins in there just hanging about so that can go away and then lastly I have all of my greeting cards stock in this crate box here and they will be displayed on my greeting card display and then I have a box of just stock here because um, I like to take a few of each design in case multiple people want to purchase the same the same design so oh, my hair's gone funky now I knew that would happen if I did that, but it's getting in my way. Um, so yeah, that's everything in that box as well. So what I'm going to do now is try and organise everything that was in the yellow boxes into my new boxes and make sure that there's at least one box spare as well for all my stock. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that all works out. I'll do my best, but at least I've got some spare crates just in case. So I've organised pretty much everything I can so far. So this is everything apart from all my stock of things. So like my stickers, sticker sheets, prints, enamel pins. Um, but I have put my pins on this cork board ready to go on the easel. So all five, no not five, all six of them are displayed here. I think they look really sweet. I kind of wish I had a smaller cork board because I feel like the pins don't fill it up very much. Um, but I will obviously be adding to my pin collection so I think that's fine for now and yeah then everything else is in here I've also put in some of my thank you cards so they'll go with all orders and business cards as well are hiding in that little brown paper box there and I've got a plant these are what I'm going to use to display my sticker sheets and bookmarks um, so they just sit really nicely on the top and the lid still closes which is just amazing so yeah I'm happy with that for now so that's all like the ominous bits in one box and then those two boxes can be filled with stock oh there's Otis's toy I don't actually know what he's doing need to go and check on him <laughs> um but yeah I'm really happy with that and then when I get my pink paper bags they can hopefully just sit on the top or if not I'm sure there will actually probably be spare room in these crates as well because I don't think all my stock will fill those two completely so yeah there should be plenty of room I'm now going to sort out some of my A4 prints and get those packaged up and in one of these boxes so I'll buy you a new toy and then you sneak off with the lint roller and absolutely do this to it hey, no you are a crazy dog. He is so sweet though, look at him. Look at you. going through all my like pre-printed ones that were in my market stock crate from last year um, and as I'm like peeling these off the sleeves that they're in they're still like really really sticky so instead of wasting these I know they're not biodegradable my new ones are biodegradable um, but instead of wasting them I'm just gonna put the grey board in these rather than changing them to these ones and then once these have run out then every single print will be with a biodegradable sleeve. Hi guys I've just finished doing the A4 prints there's still seven designs that I need to print and package but my printer needs some ink replacing um, and I've not done that yet so I've just packaged the ones that I've managed to print so I've managed to package 20 designs out of the 27 and two of each design so there's 40 prints here that I've got ready for the market so 
they can go in the crate ready for Sunday and that's one big thing ticked off my to-do list before the market on the 7th which is this Sunday so yeah I'm feeling really good about that managed to get everything done today that I wanted to I also got some Etsy orders done just before going to the range I think it was um but I've still got a few of those that I need to catch up on but it is now what time actually is it it's now half past four and Lewis will be home soon so I need to get some tea on I'm gonna make creamy mushroom pasta I think it was either that or chicken kievs I had a chicken baguette for lunch so I'm thinking veggie tea but before we end the vlog I got a really exciting delivery through just as I was packaging up the prints Royal Mail came and this is a little keyring that I've ordered from Macrame by K I never know if it's Macrame or Macrame so I recently got a new car and a new car means new car key new car key means loads of new key rings. So I made a key ring out of a couple of my prints, um, just in this one, I just made that. Then I ordered this one from Catnip, which is just adorable. And it's got glitter in it as well, I don't know if you can see. I love the little purple attachment. So cute. And I've ordered a couple more. So this one is from Kelly by Macrame by K. And then I've also ordered um, another one from Dolly's Doodle. So um, I'll probably unbox that in the next vlog if I can wait that long but if it comes before then then I might just unbox it on Instagram but I'll leave my Instagram here if you want to follow me over there um, but this is packaged so lovely so we've got a little leaflet with some information on about Macrame by K if it's going to focus there we go she's on Instagram and everything I met her at my very first craft market she was the store next to me and she's so lovely she's going to be there on Sunday as well actually I think and it's packaged so nicely I went for this little rainbow and you could choose what colours you wanted so I obviously went for pink and green to match prints finally oh, look how cute it is it says in the care instructions that if your tassels are a little bit skew with and just brush them out with a little comb or something and they'll go back to normal and look as good as new but I think this one's fine anyway so this one actually is a thank you keyring so like as gift for teachers and things like that it has a little charm on it that says thank you so I might see if I can get that off because I just bought it for myself I didn't buy it for anyone as a thank you gift there we go oh it looks so cute as well I thought if it gets a bit chunky on my keyring, because it is quite big for keyrings, but I like it. Um, if it does get a bit big, then it could go like on my mirror in my car. I know you're not supposed to have things hanging from your mirror, but I mean, it's only it's only small, isn't it? I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, thank you so much, Kelly. I really love it. And it's all packaged so beautifully as well. So I'm going to love you and leave you now. I really hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog. I've really enjoyed filming it for you today. Hopefully it's been a bit more exciting for you to watch because I know usually I'm just sat in my studio all day packing orders and things like that, which I know you guys love to see. But I got out of the house today, went to the range and I've been focusing on my craft market more than anything today. So hopefully you've enjoyed coming along with me for that. I am going to film my day on Sunday and probably the couple of days leading up to it. So I might film a bit on Friday as I'm prepping some more and Saturday as well. And then I'll take you along to the craft market with me on Sunday. Day. I don't know what my hair is doing but anyway yeah I will see you next week for the craft market vlog and there will be a studio vlog going up as well I think so possibly two videos coming your way next week so if you haven't subscribed yet please do if you'd like to see more videos like this and if you did enjoy this video please give it a like that'll help me out loads and it'll help other people find my videos and find this channel if it's what they enjoy so yeah thank you so much hopefully i'll see you in the next one i hope you all have a good rest of the week bye <music>